Now before we start, I highly recommend that you obtain a games necklace. It'll make things a lot faster. Head to the building in Backstorian Falls and talk to Almeria inside the building and accept the quest. Once you've done so, go ahead and click on the raft nearby. Once you landed on the rock, go ahead and speak to Hudon. After that, click on the water to intentionally fall down the waterfall. Once you've landed on the shore, go ahead and enter the building just north. Climb up the ladder and you'll find a book hidden in one of the shelves called the book on Buckstorian. Make sure to read the book all the way through. Next, you'll have to go to the Tree Gnome Village located northwest of Yanil. Now, if you've completed the Tree Gnome Village quest, life's a lot easier. But if you have not, you'll have to go ahead and go through the maze. So I'll jump cut to where I'm at the end. Once you reach the end, you're going to find this trap door. Go ahead and climb down. Go to the right side of the area. Search the eastern crate and you'll find a key. Once you've done that, go to the opposite side of the room. Past a few goblins and open the door. You're going to find an NPC called Golri. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Talk to him and you will receive a Glarl's Pebble. So now that you've obtained the Glarl's Pebble, go ahead and teleport with your games necklace to Barbarian Outpost. Bank anything that is a weapon or armor. This includes runes, but go ahead and bring them anyway as I'll show you a quick trick to skip a having to rebank again. Head all the way south till you reach a tomb. This is where you drop your runes, but don't do so yet. Just watch what I do for the next minute. So that way you know exactly what to do once you're inside. Now your first step will be to drop the runes. Use the pebble on the tombstone. Once you're inside, head to the opposite side and you'll find a small treasure chest. Go ahead and open it, obtain a necklace and use the drop trick where you just pick one up, then drop it, pick up the next one. You only need one, but this is just a precaution so you don't have to come back here for another in case you lose it. Head back towards the exit and you'll see a southern path. Go ahead and search the tomb and you'll find Galeril's urn. Now exit where you came from. And quickly pick up your runes before they disappear. With that out of the way, head to where you started the quest. Board the rafts once again. And this time, use your rope on a rock nearby, so that way you don't sink to the shore. Now before you do anything, go ahead and wear the Glarel's amulet that you picked up. Now next, use a rope on the dead tree in front of you. With the amulet equipped, go ahead and open the door. Once inside, enter the Eastern Room. And you'll find a key hidden in one of the crates. Now with the key in hand, 
go ahead and enter the Western room. Pass a few fire giants. Then you go ahead and enter the next room. Now before we do anything, just watch what I do. If you mess up, you will be washed ashore just as we were in the beginning. And you'll have to go through the waterfall once again. Once you've placed all the runes, go ahead and use Galarl's amulet on the statue of Galarl. Use the urn on the chalice in the center. Once that's done, quest complete. <laughs> 